Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. Last time we witnessed as Gabriel started entering the nefarious Biochemic Corporation and we learned how to stealth our way through. We now have our bats, we now have our blood daggers to use and now we have s apparently followed an apparition of Trevor Belmont into perhaps what is uh, Gabriel's mind inside his own castle or perhaps it is the castle itself its spectral manifestation. The Void Song. Don't leave us, my friends. Don't go. Your place is here. This is your home. Oh crap. Don't you dare ignore us. Please stay with us. Come back, my prince. We can't exist without you. What is going on here? Don't leave us, my prince. All right, we have recovered the void power. Void power. All right, we can use the void sword once again. The void sword. Pain and suffering have tormented Gabriel over the centuries following his transformation into the Lord of Darkness, beating his exhausted mind again and again. As his memories submerged into the waters of oblivion, Dracula left his human side behind to overcome the torture and fill his heart with a cold, dark void. That feeling gave rise to the Void Sword, capable of draining both the nightmares of its owner and the life of everyone that comes in contact with this blade. Now this is some fucking awesome backstory about an item. <laughs> now what the hell is that thing? Who knows? You ran out of Void Magic. Alrighty. The old mechanics are back, it seems. Well... Guess what? We can absorb these, which are now blood orbs. Now what is this? A stone golem. The curse that runs through Dracula's veins becomes more violent the more the vampire delves into his memories. When the blood escapes to possess fragments of the castle, a monstrous stone golem takes shape. Like a puppeteer, the cursed stab substance controls its limbs and is capable of attacking its master with crushing violence. Trying to defeat it by hitting the bevels, columns and statues that make it up as laborious as, as it is inefficient. The true aim is the red flow that animates it. Look what you're making us do, says the inner Dracula, so it seems we are indeed crap in Gabriel's mind. Nice try. Ah, shit.
Wanna bet? Tuck the blood. Fine. Now where is the blood? Oh shit. So I have to jump around in order to reach the blood now. The lower parts of the body are no longer vulnerable. Yes, just let me play the game. God, push the wrong button by mistake. Come on. Once more. Oh. Finally. So this was where the Void Sword was, and this is a very interesting uh, relief. We can see an X on the map there. However, is there anywhere else we can go? This is a magic font. All right. An Iron, uh, iron Maiden. Why not? Alright, we are full. Let's refill our health. <laughs> now that was nice. Alright, Gabe. I think we're out of here. Primordial gem. Looks more like a diamond to me. And this is where the game actually reminds me of Soul Reaver 2. Void projections. With the void power activated, the shadow daggers become a frozen missile that freezes on impact. Alright. The void projections can freeze some enemies and surrounding elements momentarily. Alright. So. We activate the Void Sword, and there we go. We can now climb this frozen uh, waterfall. Okay, if you would let me. The Tears of a Saint. The Tears of a Saint recover Dracula's health completely and temporarily increase his maximum health. 
Hmm, not bad. Looks like a behelet, if you ask me. That is the way out, but let me take a look around first. Aha, uh -huh. all right. And guess what this is? Haha, <laughs> void gem. However, it doesn't look like we can get to that one. For now, at least. Okay, time to leave, I guess. Gabriel's animations are uh, Gabriel's animations are now much more refined. They flow better. At least that's how it feels compared to the first game. I believe that they tried to uh, make it more of a. Ma Stop! My lord. My, my, my friends. We will kill anyone who tries to take you away. This boy is under my protection. You're not our lord anymore! Are you... Father! Vampires... Hmm. Rising up against their lord. How dare you. How dare I'm, I'm seriously considering uh, deactivating the QTEs since I can this time around. The QTE prompt just gets in the way of things. Where are you, you asshole? Take this. Use it, and I will come. Is this real? Or just a dream? It appears to be real enough for you, Gabriel. Now, the White Wolf Medallion. There is nothing stronger than the love of a father for his son, and even Dracula is able to show it through his tortured memories. 
A medallion is nothing more than the physical representation of those memories, forged by a deep feeling that binds him to his firstborn, tempered by the regret of having bequeathed to him his fateful destiny. The white wolf is his symbol, his constant between worlds, and his guide on his journey from this present to the past. Wherever its mark is found, he can call on it again. Like so. Gabriel has, uh, is obviously tormented greatly by what he has become. His anger has subsided over the years, perhaps. He has realized that he is not what he was supposed to become. Or perhaps he regrets what he had to become to save everyone. He ended up damning himself, but in, but in any case, enough of me waxing poetic about Gabriel's present circumstances, let's go. White Wolf helps us, shows us the way out, apparently. And it's always, it always helps if we uh, keep our ears open for uh, the shrieking of bats. They show us the way always. The white Wolf allows us to exit this uh, infernal hellscape of uh, tortured memories and uh, inner feelings of Gabriel. These uh, transitions are very, very, very much like uh, the Light and Dark World tr transitions in um, Metroid Prime 2. Which is no bad thing, I like that game a lot. Alright, so, if we ever come here again, we can use the, uh, the Wolf Medallion to re-enter the Bernhard Wing of the castle inside Gabriel's mind. But I think we have a job to do. This is not your place. This is not your place. Come back to us. us. Return to the castle. Really now? The blood has followed us into the real world? Some persistent blood, all right. Stolas's clock. Breaking the Stolas's clock momentarily slows enemies down with each strike of your weapon and awards extra experience points for every hit we make. Activating the Stolas's clock will cancel any other timed relic in use. This is nice. Stolas is a demon. First reference in the art Goetia. Uh, the art Ars Goetia. He's uh, supposedly a prince of hell, I think, or a marquis of hell, something like that. Now, um, he's also a recurring enemy in the uh, Game Boy Advance and DS entries, Aria and Dawn of Sorrow, I think it was, Stolas, and, uh, well, this time around, he's a master of time. His uh, clocks provide Gabriel with a, time, with a power to uh, slow down time itself. Seal of Alastor. While this effect lasts, it temporarily unlocks all of the skills of the available weapons and increases their mastery level. 
Nice. Another interesting relic, it seems. What did I want to, to see? Yes, the castle dwellers. I wanted to see about the dishonored vampires. Right. Following the fall of Dracula at the hands of the first Belmonts, the vampire knights lost their blood bond and went mad, victims of their own perversion. They cast aside their noble appearance and once again enjoyed the primal pleasures that came from the meat of pests, returning to the beastly appearance that they shared in bygone times. Finally, with the resurgence of the prince, they came back from their corruption and bowed once more before their lord. They yanked off their wings as penance for their degradation, and they forged monstrous weapons with which to expand their vampiric powers. The solemn oath to defend the castle from intruders became their sole mission from the rest of it for, it for the rest of eternity. Only the cursed blood of Dracula is influential enough to sway them from their objective. You're not our lord anymore. Well, perhaps he isn't. But he can, he, he can still destroy you. It seems like the blood has a mind of its own. It needs to be in control. It looks like that little uh, shit. I don't remember the name of the girl. Something we see begin with C. Uh, Claudia, I think it was. What can I do with this? Ah. Ah, I see now. The number of the top on the top left indicates how many rats we still have remaining. If we mess up with the one we're controlling at the moment, we can, uh, well, we can use, rather, Gabriel can transport himself into another rat, if he has any left alive, of course, to continue his uh, escapades. Now, what do we do? You can see there's an ele electrified floor, but there is a shit. Well, should be more careful. There is a part of the floor that is safe. Ah, come on. Once again. It looks like the rats have a turning circle, which I must take into account. Okay, made it. The question is, do I move on along this? I think I do. I'm curious to see what's further ahead. Hmm, dead end. Well, that was a waste of time. Finally out of here. Now to turn into uh, our more human-like body again.